Hi and welcome to Mike's Garage. So I'm excited to do this video. As you know, I just recently took my shop off the grid and I'm looking to do the same for my house. And I just got some packages in and it's my first eight batteries. So I've got 10 more coming tomorrow. I'll have 18 total. They're server rack batteries. I first learned about this manufacturer and these batteries on Will Prouse's uh, channel. And I looked at it great review on it. And then I saw every single video that I could find on these batteries and they were all great reviews as well. So it's probably a company that you may not have heard of, but I think you're going to hear a lot more of them. So we're going to take the first battery. I'm going to lift it up onto the table. We'll unbox it. We'll open it up. We'll take a look. We'll see what's inside it. And let's see how good of a battery it is. I have a feeling this company is going to become very, very popular. So let's take a look. All right, here's the eight batteries. So as I said, they are server rack. We're going to take one of them. We're going to open it up. The manufacturer of these is Vatrer Power, V-A-T-R-E-R. -E you may not have heard of these before, and, and to be honest, I didn't either uh, until I saw a bunch of reviews, the first one by Old Prouse. And like I said, pretty amazing stuff. So let's unbox the first one. Let's take a look. I think you're going to be rather surprised what's inside of it. Looks like it comes with some wires to connect them up. Probably a little bit thin. Yeah, these are only uh, six gauge. I'll probably beef those up either two or four gauge. Um, but yeah, these are just six gauge. I'll put them off to the side. You may want to upgrade those as well. I just think that six isn't, uh, isn't big enough. Here's the specs. 51.2 uh, volts, 100 amp hours. BMS max charging, discharging is 100. Recommended charge current is 20 or 0.2C. Looks like it's got a um, 10 year warranty on it. So it says uh, this product comes with a 10 year warranty from the data manufacturer. During this warranty period, should you encounter any problems, please feel free to contact us. It's kind of cool. All right, hopefully, you guys can see this. Look at that. So I'm going to have to pull this out. I'm not going to lift it up because it is 100 pounds and All right, so here's the battery. So got it unboxed. Let me pull this little label off the screen here real quick. And first, let me power this on. So to turn it on, you do need to um, take the uh, circuit breaker and turn that to the on position first. And then after that, you're going to press the power button. And there's the charge. It's saying it's at 53%, which is kind of cool. Now, it does have a touch screen. So this is page one. And then page two will show some additional information. So it will show you uh, the temperature range or the temperature that it's at. So it's saying it's 64 degrees in here. Status is normal. And then I can see all of my uh, cells and the voltage on them, which is kind of cool. All right, so now let's actually open this thing up.
All right, so it has these two metal supports that are holding the top on. So let me remove these. Then you have this uh, piece of plastic here that kind of separates the um, top from the uh, cells themselves. So now the cells are exposed. So hopefully you can see this here. Um, you can see that each one has their balance lead on them. You can see how the routing is done extremely well. You can see that it's uh, screwed down and then it's glued. And what's interesting and one of the selling points for me why that I, I bought these is when you look at it, you can see that um, instead of it being welded on, it's actually bolted on. And uh, so you can change these cells later on if you ever had a bad cell. And also you can see instead of having a straight piece of metal connecting uh, the two cells together, it's got this little hump to it. So that's for expansion and contraction of the cells, which is really nice to have. But you can see that, I mean, just how well that this is routed and how well that it's connected. It's built very, very well. And that's what I really liked about it. You can also see these massive supports on the side you know, for the case to kind of really strengthen the case, which will help allow you to where if you needed to stack these batteries, you definitely could uh, could do that. All right. Um, as far as the cells that are in these, uh, they're actually Eve cells. They're Eve prismatic cells, and uh, they're quite nice. And that was, uh, again, one of the selling points. And in the front here, um, when you look at the BMS, that's actually a uh, JBD uh, BMS that's in here. So let me kind of zoom in so you can see that part number. So it's SP16S020 version 1.2, and it is a 100 amp BMS. So there you go. So we've got Eve cells. We've got a JBD BMS. Um, what that really uh, gives you is the ability to change out cells if you need to, because everyone can get Eve cells. They're, they're very well known. Um, and as far as the, uh, the BMS, once again, very easy to find one of these. So if your BMS ever went bad, you can get another one. It's a very simple BMS. Uh, when you look at it, so here's your, your Bluetooth right here. Uh, it's kind of connected, a little glob there holding it to the bottom. You have your, uh, your circuit breaker, which is right there. You have nice solid connections to your terminals. We have the routing here. I don't know why they used all this glue. Uh, to kind of hold the uh, connections together. Could be they're worried about vibration. But that looks good. And then I believe it's got uh, two temperature sensors. So the first one is right here. So that's your low and high temperature sensor. There it is. There's the second one right there. So it's taped and glued. I knew that there was a second one. All right. Let's see what else to show you. Um, one thing that this does need, and Will had kind of pointed this out in his video, um, the wires that are going to the display, they probably should have a fuse on them. Um, so that's something I'm probably going to do to all of mine, is put a fuse in line for the screen just in case there was ever an issue. Um... But yeah, so here's the front. Here it is with the screen. Nice heavy duty terminals. And very simple. Doesn't have the ability to plug it into your controller. It's got a very, very basic BMS. But when you look at this build quality and the cells that it has in it, this is something that, you know, if you were a DIYer like myself and you were looking to build a battery, um, like a kit or what have you, I mean, it's a solid case. 
It has great cells that are in it. It's got a DIY uh, BMS. There, there's no reason why you couldn't keep this running a long time by just replacing a cell as needed or replacing the uh, the BMS if you needed to. So I'm kind of uh, kind of happy with this. So looking forward to open up the rest of them and then uh, getting these all hooked up. So that's it. Thanks again for watching. Mike's Garage. Exciting update for me because as you know, I recently took my shop off the grid and now I'm starting to get, get there. Yeah.